Um, my name is Trish and I'm an inclusion specialist here at the YMCA New York camp. Um, my job here at camp is really to add an extra layer of support so kids can access camp and have fun. Um, many of our children, uh, I guess the statistics for children with, diff with learning differences and neurological differences is one child per six. So that could be a child that's affected with attention deficit or learning difficulties. Um, so if that's a national statistic and you figure people come to camp, one out of six might need a little extra support to get through camp. So my job as a teacher, regular education teacher and special education teacher during the school year is to bring that training and that expertise to camp to support the children who might need it. Um, and that extra support might mean extra training for the staff, um, extra time and support in transitions, behavior plans, positive reinforcement and encouragement uh, just to help them get through the day. And the way I like to look at it is to level the playing field so that camp can be successful, that camp experience and that fun experience, everyone can access that. And that's really our goal here at camp. Um, not only do kids come to camp, uh, everyone comes to camp with the idea of having fun and enjoying camp, but sometimes there's obstacles in the way. And uh, what we do here at camp is try to knock down those obstacles and support children so they can be successful. So one thing we deal with very much so at a sleepaway camp is homesickness. Uh, so we do a lot of support for campers just to get through the day and help them build resiliency so they can manage their homesickness. Uh, with that, we'll also communicate back and forth with home to um, utilize any strategies they might already have in place at home and use them at camp and then let the parents know what we're doing here at camp. Uh, we have special codes and tags and beads that we give kids that are practicing the skill of resiliency and working through their homesickness so that they can leave at the end of our camp and learn the skill set to work through something that might be a little hard and challenging and feel that sense of accomplishment as they get to the other side of it. So those layers of support can be anything from extra time with a counselor, um, notebook time, journaling, um, beads for positive reinforcement, uh, that they've just, connecting them with other campers is also something that we can do so that they know that they're not feeling that homesickness in isolation. So that is a lot of my day working with that and our other um, staff here to support the child so they can access the fun of camp. The, my, I come to camp with the belief that everyone should have access to the fun. And that's really what I spend my day doing. And sometimes things get in the way of a child accessing camp. And those things can be, um, if it's not a specific uh, learning disability or attention deficit or anything like that, a lot of time it's, it's what they come from. So maybe the family at home is going through a hard time. Um, maybe the child just had a rough school year, whatever that obstacle could be in the way. And now they bring that with them to camp and their burden is very heavy. So here at camp, we try to help them ease that burden so they can access camp. And the stories that we have of this happening on a daily basis is really what sustains us here and gives us the joy of knowing that no matter what a child comes from, what circumstances they come from, that they can access fun and leave just a little bit lighter um, to go through home to what they just left. Uh, I've had campers say things to me when they get through that sense of accomplishment and they've done something that they didn't think they can do. Things like, I just can't wait to call home. Can you, can you just tell my mother, Trish, can you tell my mother? I become the person of, Trish, can you just tell my mother this? Trish, can you tell my mother that? Um, and just share these memories. But I know they're memories they're gonna hold on to forever. Um, I've had children who have come to camp with a lot of fears and anxiety and a lot of worries about their family at home and they have a hard time separating from that. So they come to camp maybe with a situation that might be a family that's going through a hard time. Um, one camper that I'm thinking about particularly came to camp and he was presenting as a child with homesickness but as we kind of peeled back the layer of that onion to realize that he really was homesick, but he was more, there was more fear involved. He said that every night for the last three years, he slept with his mom to keep her safe. Those are his words. And that now that he's at camp, he worries that his mom is not safe anymore. So what we did was just support the child here and encourage them 
to have fun, but then also call home to hear mom's side and then share that news with the camper that mom, know, mom is safe, mom sent you to camp so that you can have fun and your job is to be seven and to experience camp. And that gave the camper a big sense of relief. And then we just worked on a kind of t every two day plan to check in with mom and share with mom some stories from camp and memories, and then share with the child some stories that mom had about how she's busying herself and keeping it home. And that's just one story of many. Um, that was something that was preventing a child from being successful at camp.